Hey guys, so I need to set up a machine in the UK for an open VPN and some other testing stuff. So I thought I'd walk through it with you guys. I was perhaps going to set it up with uh, ByteMark, um, but when I did a tr when I did a trace route, there was like ten more hops to the Big V um, service. So um, unfortunately, connectivity sucks. So I'm using Linode and now I'm going to set a password. Uh, what should it be? And I'm going to deploy Arch Linux. Oh my gosh. Um, lowercase, uppercase. Oh, sorry. I, I need to something here. <sighs> I haven't deployed a Linode server for a while. I'm actually using DigitalOcean lately, but DigitalOcean in London is not very good. Namely because BBC block its IPs. Uh, yeah, please. Hmm. And to be honest, I mean, Linode has had bad times, but I actually been in been lately they've been good I'd say uh, I run my main machine my main um, bu business machine of Linode in London it's been good especially when they did the SSD upgrade that was nice okay uh, so Linode is a VPS provider just like DigitalOcean just like EC2 just like all the rest of it and like all the rest of it, I have to figure out how, what its IP is. What is your IP, dude? It's a KVM. This is your network. Oh, okay, it's in this tab. So it's been a while. It's been a while. Right, um, sorry. So what do we have here? We've got 22 gigabytes, 64, I guess. Um, free minus M to see how much, two gigs of RAM. Let's start off with um, an update, Pac-Man minus SYU. So on this machine, yeah, I'm gonna run some machines but first I wanted to show you because I learned this today how to set up this machine to to accept logs um, so the idea is the cool the cool one of the best things about system D is the journal CTL and in the old days I guess it used to be syslog and you maybe use things like I don't know Banner, log stash, all sorts of weird tools to to collate and and search your tools, uh, search your log. Sorry, but now there's a thing called Journal CTL, and I think it's a lot simpler and faster and more powerful and more uniform way of doing it. And um, all you have to do is set it up. So uh, I'm just trying to think how to do this again. Let's make sure I've got Vim installed. Okay, first off, the thing you need to set up is called re 
Oh, and I need to set up bash completion too. This is like so required nowadays. Right, okay, so um, what we need to do here is set up like a remote receiver. Okay, so, but the, 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 the silly thing is that you need to change it so that, um, well, you're supposed to secure it with uh, SSL certificates, but I'm not going to do that because I'm lazy. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you how to do it with HTTP. Oh no. I can never remember how is this. So the override, the override. Um, I've actually done this on the machine already somewhere. Uh, cat, yeah. So I discovered painfully today that you need to change this listen uh, argument here so that it will listen on HTTP this minus three thing is a bit weird. Uh, it's somewhere in the documentation. It's documented some sort of it's a special description. You also need to turn off the watchdog thing because that, for some reason, also doesn't work. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's start this thing up. So this is absolutely unsec unsecure, guys. So anyone now can start sending me stuff to my logs. Uh oh. Micro HTTP. <laughs> Micro HTTP. So let's restart that. Split mode equals host. Output must be a directory. What version of SMC turn on there? Remote. Let's have a look at this remote configuration. Status. It says split mode equals host. output must be a directory. Okay, dokey. So maybe this um, directory does not exist. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Does it exist? All right. Let's restart that. Let's have a look at the status. Now it's working. So now we should be able to pump some logs to it. So how do we pump logs to it again? I clean forgotten. <laughs> so it's something like, yeah. Something like that. So let me find, um, I have a little nook here that I'm going to abuse. I'm going to abuse it. I um, don't know the IP of this machine. What is the IP of this machine? Is it that one? Is it that one? 13964, yep, 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 yep. Don't do this anymore. Okay, back to my, my little test client. Oh, actually, I sorry, I just don't remember the port. 
It's easy to get confused between these ports because the one is the uh, versus two is the one is like the viewer, so don't get confused between one and two. Right. Um, so that should now pump to. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now I should be pumping my logs. From my Pi. Permission denied. Ew, why am I getting permission denied? Okay. I have to set up the permissions, guys. What user is this running on it? User? Abuser? Okay, that should fix it. Should we bother with the restart? Should we bother with the restart? This is looking good. Let's do a foobar. So now this is coming from my 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 Pi to this remote machine I just set up at Linode in London. And um, if everything really goes well, something like this would show up. But it doesn't index it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. So, uh, file should work. File log journal remote. Yeah. Um, so if I just go F foobar, right? Back here, um, this works. Yeah, so, so now I've configured an unsecure logger, log receiver using journal CTL. Um, I think obviously it has a way to go. It should be secured. Um, it, when I'm, I, I did when I run uh, journal CTL minus M, it should like merge the logs of the local machine with the stuff in um, var log uh, journal remote, but it's not working currently. It's probably something that's really stupid. But anyway, I hope you found that useful. Journal CTL for logging and logging collection and logging sending. It's the future. So this is the remote. Um, I, there, I did drop in an override to make it to make it insecure. <laughs> and this is the upload service and the configuration was pretty simple. Just point to that thing which I have to secure somehow now. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching as ever. And please like the video. See ya.